Okay. I have been contemplating this video. What is that gonna look like? Beginning, middle, middle and end. And one of the things that I'm starting to realize is that my thought process and how I digest information. This is not my message of the day. Okay, I'm stopping here for the message of the day. Since I was a little child, I remember um, one thing that was very, very profound and is that I was never measured by what I had like uh, with the other kids. So um, how do I say this? So in order for me to be the cool kid in the school, it was about how much money I had when I came back home. It was how I was being for my friends in school and supporting them, being there for them. I almost feel like lately a lot of the kids and what we are passing for the kids is that that they got to have certain something in order to feel valuable. And and here's the deal like I'm not I'm not going to be here and say well when I was a kid like I didn't care about Levi's and I didn't, it was Levi's, it was Adidas, you know, like yeah, I always wanted to wear what my older brother wore and that was it was the cool stuff that I was trying to like, you know, mimic him and say well this is cute like <clears throat> So of course this is the mindset of like, yeah, like what looks good and what's uh, gonna make me feel happy and the way I express myself. On the other hand, I was not measured by it. So I didn't have a lot of friends because I was rich. So what I did have is that I had my personality. I had my supportive, positive mindset. I had my goofiness. I was funny, I was strong. I was um, very per se, like in a way certain because you know, I saw the, the I saw through the kids somehow as a little child. And and I think we all can see through other kids and we just kinda make decisions as we go and like, you know, some of the experience that we go through in our home and then we're like, you know, it's just this um this growing old is like knowing what we don't want and knowing what we do want, like Esther Hicks says, she's like, When you know what you don't want, you know what you do want and I think it's profound because we go through this life experience in order to kind of sift and sort like she say and to say well I like this I'm taking that and I don't like that and I'm leaving it there so why am I saying this I'm saying this is to the realization of coming here today and looking at my life and looking how every time something I had a sort of hurdle per se I just came out on the other side a lot stronger and this time around I wanted to come on the other side a lot stronger from a place of elevating uh, with compassion and acceptance. So when life calls you for a change and expansion, it can also be a smooth ride. It's almost like saying, rather for it to be a tower moment, like, you know, like, or something that is like, oh my God, like, I can't believe this is happening. Saying, well, I'm feeling like the energy, I'm feeling like there's a call for a change. I'm feeling like I'm not inspired as much in my actions. And then readjusting with the change, stopping, taking a break, asking questions, what's happening inside. So I've been doing that. One of the things that I found really profound is that going back to my childhood and going back to the basics and going back to um, how the diamond has been made. You know, the more pressure it has, the more shiny it is. So, you know, God will not put in front of you things that you cannot handle. So fear nothing, you know, like... A, everything is happening for your highest good, even if it doesn't look like it. So you're not defined what, with what you have. You're defined by the way you treat people and how you being yourself and authentic and bring your best foot forward and have loving intentions for the highest good of all. So essentially, I'm gonna sum it up by saying, when you quote unquote start all over and you are in a process of you know rebuilding something that you're passionate about and along the line something just kind of like watered down and you were not as inspired then stop and say well i'm not really starting all over i just need a break and create this uh ignite of inspiration of the why why am i doing what i'm doing like i, I would like to feel free i would like to feel uh, happy you know and then the emotional journey will then create this outer reality and have fun with this and have compassion for yourself and and when the calls for change comes in you know uh rather than freaking out and saying oh my god what am i going to do just say well 
what am I learning? You know, how can I, I kind of step up my game and say, well, I have so many gifts and I'm so talented and I have so much to offer. And what is that going to look like on my next chapter? And how I would like to share it with the world and be happy and joyous along the journey. Going back to your inner child and truly knowing who you are. Um, you know, just infinite souls. Yeah. The infinite soul is going to express itself to its highest potential, essentially. Yeah, I like that. Love and peace. Peace and love. Let the message of the day. <laughs>